Welcome back to Primetime News. The Jamaica Fire Brigade is mourning the loss of a colleague who was among two men gunned down in Freehill, St. Mary. It's the latest in a spate of murders in the parish. However, the police say they are concentrating on three areas deemed crime hotspots. Amoy Harriet reports. The early morning double murder in Freehill, St. Mary has left residents devastated. Dead are 48-year-old Corporal Gary Samuels, a member of the Jamaica Fire Brigade, and his 26-year-old neighbor Barrington Clark. According to reports, about 1.30 a.m., armed thugs barged into the house occupied by Mr. Clark and his common-law wife. It's further understood the gunmen asked a question about a neighbor, but before the couple could answer, the men opened fire at Mr. Clark. His common-law wife who escaped went in search of help and called for her neighbor Corporal Samuels. It was then she discovered he too had been shot. On their arrival, the police found several 9mm casings and a live round at the scene. Now the community is in shock. I feel bad about this in the car. The man in the be at the place. Right, the you know, they were there now when I met John Noah. They were there now doing farming. That's a number one. I understand. I like what you them are flex, they're not flex right. And the community can't feel good. Good, good you them. They're not giving no trouble. And I like say them are man in a war business. The man in a deal with them thing there. Never. Especially all to the fireman. Yeah, man. Murder comes on the heels of the revelation by the head of the St. Mary Police, acting senior superintendent Bobbett Morgan Simpson, that there are three areas in the division struggling with high crime rates. He find that Pomaria, Anata Bay and Highgate account for 62% of all major crimes recorded in the division, with 26, 22 and 14% respectively. So we have 11 stations and out of the 11, we find that three have actually accounted for the majority of the crimes in the parish. Additionally, domestic violence and sexual offenses, especially against minors, remain pressing concerns for law enforcement in the parish. We are also convicting these persons who are committing these crimes. And that is very important. That they, we are taking them to court, they are being arrested, they are being charged, they are being convicted and they are being sentenced. Our lockups are bursting at the seams at the moment because of the hard work and dedication of the police who have been locking up these criminals who have been committing themselves. And so they are incarcerated and is not able to carry out heinous acts that they continue to do. Amoy Harriet, TVJ News.